Hello and welcome to Arts and Crafts with Steve McDonald. Today I'm going to be doing a multimedia uh, piece using alcohol inks, resin, Upo paper, my size X machine, aluminium and acrylic paints. So I've set up my size X machine and I'm going to be using these feather cutting dies. Now if you don't have a size X machine there's no reason why you can't just cut out with scissors or a blade feather shapes from Upo paper and do this. Now it might be a, bit, a little bit more difficult when you get to the aluminium but actually aluminium does cut really well using scissors so as long as you're wearing gloves and you protect yourself you should also be able to cut out if you sketch on it first. Now because I'm cutting Upo paper and Upo paper really doesn't cut the first time going through the Sizex machine, I don't know if anybody else has that problem or has tried it, I do go through it three times. So this is what the feathers look like once they've been cut using these little dies. So I'm just going to run off some more. I'm not quite sure why I took the feather dies off there. Oh, and by the way, I do apologise if I call these leaves at some point throughout these video, because I just don't really know uh, why I do that. But I have it stuck in my head sometimes that these are leaves and not feathers. So again, Upo paper, running it through the Sizzix machine three times. Uh, prior to taking off the dies to ensure that they've cut and stamped through um, uh, how I want them. And there we go, they've come out really well. I think I'm very pleased with those. So I also want to uh, show you how well these actually cut using um, aluminium. And this is the uh, aluminium from a monster energy drink can. I've washed it out, cleaned it, cut it into a strip that's the right size to get through this um, size X machine or size X machine and uh, that's what I'm going to cut and it actually does cut aluminium quite well but again you do need to go through it three times and the great thing about aluminium from a drinks can if you want to use alcohol ink on it is it's covered in a very clear um, protective plastic on the inside which works wonders with alcohol ink. So now I'm going to protect, uh, prepare my um, really my backing for this and I'm using epoxy resin that I've mixed with some sapphire blue, a little bit of purple and some mica ink uh, mica powder, so sapphire blue alcohol ink, a little bit of purple alcohol ink, uh, because I want it to be quite translucent. That's why this board has been primed in a white acrylic, getting it ready. Now, I'm not too worried about getting this um, level at the moment, because I will be going over it in a minute with some white epoxy, because I want this to be quite um, cloud-like, like a sky, like these feathers are going to be floating in a sky. So there I go over now with epoxy resin that I've mixed with white mica and um, acrylic paint. And I'm using my heat gun to uh, blend that in, soften that all off. And, and actually it does come up quite, quite cloud-like as well. So I'm just popping a bit of blue in so I don't waste that. A little bit more white in places to have a little bit more cloud cover. And as you see, as you can see, quite a bit is dripping off. It is dripping down the sides. I have protected the underneath of this board with masking tape so I can get rid of all those little drops. So again, if you like what you're seeing here and you like this type of art and you're finding these videos really useful, please hit that subscribe button, hit the bell so you get a notification. I do try and upload videos twice a week. I always upload them on a Sunday anyway every Sunday um, and actually when I'm on holiday and I've got time I do put videos in um, more often. I like experiment, I, I like trying out new things and new ways of doing things. So what I'm doing is now, I don't want to waste this resin, I'm scooping up all this um, mixed white and blue resin and I'm going to go over in a moment while this is um, settling off and put that into some pendant moulds. I do apologise for that um, very bright bottom right hand corner. I hadn't actually noticed the sun was shining through one of the windows in my studio and as a result 
what happened was it kind of affected the light. Um, I'm going to get that blocked up, I think, which is a shame, but, it, you know, the quality of the video has to be in, be right. So this is now where I'm thinking about, now that bit's done, I'm thinking about my feathers. And this is all the ones I've done. I don't end up using the two aluminium bumblebees because I actually think the white Yupo one come out much better. But what happens with these aluminium um, feathers is they do need a little bit more texture. So I'm going over this with a ball um, tool that you would use for modeling and I'm giving them a bit of texture. So the colors I've decided to use here are the Copic markers and I'm using the colors of the rainbow. Uh, so I've got red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo and violet. And I'm using the brush end of the Copic pen here to colour in the leaves, to make sure they're well co covered with alcohol ink. And the great thing about this is it's um, the colours of the pride flag as well. So not only is it the colours of the rainbow, but it's the colours of the pride flag. Now, I have used Copic markers before. If you see above... Here, you'll see the link of how I use Copic markers to make nice, easy flowers, uh, alcohol ink flowers. And they are great. They are a little bit expensive. I did nearly um, choke when I realised how much they were. I think they were either 45 or £48 pounds for uh, 10 I think I got for it. Um, but they're great and I love them. I love them. I really do. I love them. So as you can see, the aluminium one has come out very different to the Upo paper one. And when I put a little bit more um, texture into these, which you'll see in a minute, uh, they do uh, look quite different. And they do look different in the final picture. And I think it was worthwhile doing. So that's the three red ones done. I'm not going to bore you with showing you how I colour doing all the rest because it's exactly the same, but just different colours. So now what I'm using is I'm using some 99% alcohol on a micro brush, which you can get easily from Amazon, just to go through all of the feathers to give them a little bit more veining, give them a bit more interest, tone and, and, and depth as well. So they're not just, you know, coloured in um, feathers. Everything that I've used will be in the description. The links to it will be in the description. You'll be able to see what I've got. If you can't, if it's not available in your uh, country, then you will still be able to uh, do a Amazon search and find the equivalent. And I'm working on uh, here a piece of kitchen paper because it allows me to uh, just dab the hello Lily. Look, there's my little deaf labradoodle coming in to say hello. Um, it just allows me to dab off the micro brush so I don't swamp any areas with 99% um, alcohol because I don't want to spoil them or um, ensure that uh, they've got blotches or anything on them. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to spread out the leaves near the pens so I know what colours I've got because, as you know, I am colourblind and I will forget. And I will still get them checked as well before I put them on the final paper uh, picture to ensure that I've got them in the right order. And these really didn't take too long at all to put together. Um, but I do want to make sure that I get them in the right colours of the actual rainbow as well. And again here, you really can identify which ones are the feathers made from the aluminium monster can and which ones are the feathers made from uh, the Yupo paper. I think these um, aluminium feathers, if you painted on them both sides with alcohol inks or Copic markers, covered them in resin. You could actually make quite a nice pendant out of them or uh, neck, uh, other form of necklace, earrings. <laughs> you know, I think they could be very versatile. So I'm just going to let these all um, ensure that they're 
firm and I will seal them once I've placed them onto the picture because I don't want to blow them away. So I will be sticking the, these down with um, sticky glue dots, that's for the aluminium ones, and Pritt stick for the Yupo feathers and the bee. And I find Yupo paper Pritt stick seal, uh, sticks down really easy, it dries very quickly and um, it gives you a, a really good flat um, picture without any glue coming out of the edges of, of anything as well to, to mess up any of the other surrounding picture. I always make sure that I paint the um, Pritt stick right up to the very edges, but not, un not on the face. And I do try to keep my hands as clean as possible so that I don't pull off any of the ink. And there we go. You can see that's glued down quite flat. The aluminium ones I did with the um, glue dots and they've sat down quite well. And then I sealed it all, let that dry before I um, go over it with the final coat of resin. So here we go. So this is the clear resin. I mixed up uh, 180 mils of resin to cover this picture. And that was ample as well. And this, this board is an A3 size board. It's just an MDF board that I bought off Amazon and it's just sitting on some um, little shot glasses underneath it. I have taped up, re-taped up the underneath as well to ensure that I don't get any drips sticking to the picture that I can't remove a layer day and they'll just come off on the masking tape when I do it. So this is where I'm just checking that I'm getting a coverage and that everything is covered. And uh, before I go over it with the heat gun. Now, even though um, this is resin, there's no silica mold here, I wouldn't suggest you, if you're using UPO paper underneath, I wouldn't suggest you go over it with a torch because it does catch really quickly. It will melt it, it will turn it uh, into almost like a 3D picture, uh, as you've seen in one of my other videos where I've made a 3D flower using UPO paper. But so I would use the heat gun. Now the heat gun will warm up the resin, but it'll also allow it to level out and it will get rid of any um, bubbles that you've got uh, lingering in. So I'm just checking to ensure that there's no dents. Now I'm going over it with my heat gun. And as you can see, it is getting rid of those um, pesky old bubbles, killing them off and ensuring that the... Um, resin is nice and level through heating it and actually i'm moving it quite rapidly to make sure that uh, i don't melt or burn any of those edges of those um, feathers so there we go that's the picture finished i'm really pleased with this i think this has come out lovely i'm going to zoom in now so you can get a better look at it and that's how it is finished I think the, the combination of the different medias has worked exceptionally well. I hope you've enjoyed me making this picture as well. And I think it just celebrates fun and joy and happiness. So thank you very much for watching this video. Please subscribe, like and share it as much as you can because that helps build up my subscriber rate. Bye.